Prior to starting the face type procedure, a wheel of 1% lidocaine with epinephrine is raised under each ear and submentally. The mandibular border is marked, as well as the marionette lines. Additionally, a betadine solution is used to prep the neck for sterility. A 16 gauge needle is used to create the pilot report holes for which this tumescent anesthesia solution is instilled. First in the lateral neck, I'm using an 18 gauge cannula here to instill some of this tumescent solution, and then in the submental and central neck areas. If you choose, a small liposuction cannula can be used to reduce some of the submental and lateral neck fat. This is a look at the face tight handpiece consisting of a subdermal 10 centimeter probe and surface bipolar electrode. Dry passes are made through the porthole laterally to allow the probe to slide underneath the surface of the skin in a preplatismal fashion. This ensures that the probe does not get hung up on the fibroceptal network underneath the skin as it is passed when heat is applied. Next you see ultrasound gel is applied to the neck, the probe is advanced and slowly withdrawn. The energy is going from the deep probe to the more superficial probe that rides on top of the surface of the skin. The probe is passed radially from this lateral port preplatismally and the skin is pinched in between the deep subcutaneous electrode and the more superficial skin receiver electrode. While the skin is pinched between these two probes, you can see here that the surface probe is just riding along the top of the skin while the underlying probe is advanced in this radial motion to treat the lateral neck and jawline. One of the unique and important things to know about this device is that the energy is passed unidirectionally, simply from the deep electrode to the more superficial electrode. It is not being sprayed in all directions and only in that single direction. You can see here now we are treating the other side of the neck through the right lateral port or pilot hole. Treatment of the lateral necks take about seven to 10 minutes per side and about three kilojoules of energy is instilled into either side of the neck. You can see we are continuing to radially treat the neck in this preplatismal plane while pinching the subcutaneous tissue between the two probes. Once the appropriate amount of energy and time has been spent on the lateral neck, attention then moves to the submental or central neck area. This is treated in much the same way as the lateral neck is treated. You can see here how the probe is radially fanned from that submental crease port or pilot hole. When you're treating the central area, most of the lateral treated area that you are also fanning across has also previously been treated. That is why less energy is able to be placed there. Finally, treatment of the jowl and jawline area is performed. It is of utmost importance that you stay immediately subcutaneous in this area and don't dive deep into the jowl area. I will treat from laterally all the way up to the marionette line as shown. You do not want to dive deeply into the jowls for risk of the deeper marginal mandibular branch of the facial nerve in this area. Finally, at the completion of the procedure, the central and lateral port or pilot holes are closed with a single 6O fast absorbing gut suture only if liposuction is added. This is a picture of a 48 year old woman before and after the face type procedure at approximately four months after the procedure.